My name's Amy and I'm the fundraising officer here at the MS Trust. Today I'm joined by Emma in the top left and Helena in the top right to talk about their experience of taking part in the virtual London Marathon 2020. So how was it? When it ended up being a virtual, I think it ended up for me being such a lovely event because I had friends and colleagues run a little bit with me so I had like that they were doing things like five kilometers with me but then there were lots of colleagues that had shown up in different places and were cheering on and people who had supported me. What were the advantages of the virtual marathon? I've never run the London marathon before I've never run any marathon before and the thought of going up to London was exciting but at the same time incredibly daunting so um so yeah so definitely a win on that front. You get 24 hours it has to be done on that date get 24 hours to do it. I saw some people that were walking it when I was out so I saw them at different parts <laughs> around my town. And you could see other runners coming towards you with their numbers on and you knew exactly what they were doing and you could cheer them on and clap them and they do the same to you and just people who were out and about that day you know you didn't know whether they were there for other people but they would you know they'd see you coming and have your name and they'd, they'd cheer you along it was really very special. And it's a, it's a benefit that you can set your own route as well. So, you know, if you're not a fan of hills, who is a fan of hills? I don't know. <laughs> Why did you choose to take part for the MS Trust? My brother has MS, was diagnosed in 2015. And the support that he's received from the MS Trust, from suspecting that he might have MS to actually getting diagnosed with MS, and then through his treatment as well, and living with MS, um, the support that the MS Trust has given him has been absolutely brilliant and he, he raves about you guys. And having that personal connection has been a really strong motivator because training isn't always easy. You're doing it because you've got a loved one, a friend, a colleague who is relying on the services that the MS Trust um, deliver. And I was diagnosed with MS in 2007. And I actually went to um, cheer on at the London Marathon and you saw all these amazing runners and there were people with MS running. And I thought, okay, well, let's go for it then. Yeah. And I know, you know, being a, a person with MS, I feel very fortunate that I can actually run a marathon. At the moment, as we're going through COVID-19, the reduction in monies that the charities are, are able to raise at the moment, simply because of the restrictions, it's even more important, I think, if you can run for a, for a charity and raise that money then um, then it's vital. How is the support you receive from the MS Trust? You know you get your singlet, you get your running vest, your training vest and you put it on it's like a little uniform and you do you almost feel like you have superpowers when you have it on because you know what you're doing and you feel really proud to wear to wear the MS Trust blue I have to say. And, and the support that we receive from the MS Trust with training guides and um, physio videos all of that kind of stuff was absolutely brilliant you know and the nutritional sort of advice and guidance and the experts that the MS Trust helped us connect with so having all of that support in you know week by week as you go through your marathon training was was absolutely brilliant. Did you still feel like part of the team? I think um, because we were in sort of online groups as well I mean we were active on Instagram and, and, and Facebook and, and Strava and all sorts. You kind of felt you, you still knew what was going on with the other MS Trust runners. So we were sort of emotional support for each other. And, <laughs> and I think, you know, it was, it was sort of amazing to have that as well, because somebody was going through all the same kind of feelings as you were doing. Was the fundraising difficult and do you have any tips? I think we've learned so many things that can be done virtually. So you can do virtual quizzes, you can do these things. But I feel also that a good way for fundraising was that you got, I can't remember how many people were running with me now, but all of them sort of posting the link and sort of saying, oh, I'm doing this, I'm running with Helena, so I'm doing this. And, you know, can you support us? Because it, cause it, was, it was tricky to fundraise during the pandemic because... Uh, Obviously, a lot of people were furloughed, a lot of people lost their jobs and stuff. So it felt really hard to to ask for money. But I, I was just amazed how many people did donate on the day and, and sort of leading up to it. I think the fundraising can seem really daunting. 
it was one of my biggest concerns. So the MS Trust has got loads of ideas and resources and we've got a pack at the very beginning with um, fundraising ideas and tips and support. So, so there's loads of can, ideas, so it can definitely be done. Would you recommend taking part in the virtual London Marathon to someone? It's like nothing I have ever done before in my life. And, you know, and at the end, last year, I had people say to me, you know, actually, I'm quite jealous of what you've achieved. And, you know, I say to them, you could do this. This is 100% pos- possible. And I think, you know, people kind of feel like, oh, well, they can't do it because they, I don't know, they, they, they've run too little or, or you know, issues. And I, like I said, I was... I was 42 when I ran the marathon and I started running when I was 39. And so you don't have to be an elite athlete. You know, I think you don't even have to be a regular runner. There are loads of people that sign up and do it and they haven't really run before or they've run very little or they ran years ago. You know, it's you don't have to be a brilliant runner to sign up for, for the London Marathon and especially not the virtual London Marathon. And I almost felt like after <laughs> after I run it, like, oh, I don't know if I want to go and do it in London now because I won't have anyone running with me. <laughs> do you have any final thoughts? It gave me the opportunity to run a marathon in my local town. I wouldn't have signed up for that beforehand, I don't think, you know. And But actually... As I said, it became one of the most special days of my life. And having the virtual event, doing it locally, you don't have to travel to London. You can be with your family and friends. You can run a route that you know and that you understand. You know where the water stops are. You know where the public toilets are. You know, all of that stuff that that can make it feel a bit more comfortable than running in an environment that you're not used to. You know, I think that's one of the things that's really special about the virtual London Marathon is you are fully in control. Yeah, it was so yes, very inspirational and fun. I think that's, you know, important to say, yes, you feel tired, you feel knackered, um, you'll ache for a few days afterwards, but it was such a fun day.